Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Wish Wednesday. All right, if you're new here, I'm Claire. This channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. So hit that subscribe button down below. Today is Wednesday, the day of the week I test out something from wish.com. Welcome back all you lovely Wish Wednesday followers. Thank you so much for coming and um, supporting the Wish Wednesday adventures that we get up to. Today I have an art item. I have some brushes, artist brushes. And while this might seem like an extremely simple thing, um, I thought I would still test them out anyway because um, I noticed that the brushes that I buy from Dollar Tree, often the little like bristle brush hairs, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They fall out like when you're painting and sometimes my oldest son, Fox, gets very upset when he's in the middle of painting and all of a sudden whatever he's painting is covered in these little tiny hairs. Um, so I know that can be frustrating so I wanted to test these out for their um, hair losing factor. It is also important to note that these brushes were free, which on Wish means you only pay shipping. So I thought it was definitely uh, worth a go. There are six brushes in here, and um, there is, you know, like a round one, a couple round ones, a couple flat ones, and whatever. They have like a description on the back. Actually, it's in English, French, and German, so that's kind of odd from Wish. Like, those would be the languages that these are all in. I will say there are eight different brushes with their description on the back here, but only six in this packet, so there's like a fun little wish thing. Um, but yeah, I thought we would do some art today, give these a try, and then actually later on when my husband gets home, I'm going to have him test these out um, in a more professional setting, um, if you could call it that. He likes to play a game called Warhammer. It's like if Dungeons and Dragons and chess had a baby, it would be Warhammer, if you're not you know, familiar with that. Um, but he paints these little teeny tiny figurines and he, um, he uses lots of different types of brushes. So I thought uh, today Fox and I would do some art with these, see how they hold up. Uh, later we'll have Johnny test them out and then we'll tell you guys if these are a good free wish item and if you should buy them or not. Up, up, up in a painted cup I would pour my love from a cloud above so bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly This looks like Starry like Night <laughs> Now we're gonna mix Oh are you, so are you being Van Gogh then? That's the guy who painted Starry Starry Night But then I am You're Van Gogh? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm the one that makes crazy ones. Oh. Okay. Well. If you're gonna be Van Gogh. I guess we'll keep an eye on your mental health. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. So sweet like a honeybee. All right. Gianni is home from work now. And what are we painting today? Uh, one of my Warhammer figures. Pretty tiny guys. Pretty tiny. Yeah, there's a lot of small details in here. So I have chosen first, so I like to get like a nice base with the quarter brush. Is that the smallest one? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. It also is the nicest tip for detail. Okay. So I mean, that's the one that I'm most concerned about. And when you normally buy your brushes, where do you normally buy them? Uh, usually from Michaels or like, like a, a craft, craft store. store. Yeah. And how much do you usually pay for like a pack like this of six? Um, anywhere from five to ten dollars. Okay. So a small savings here if they turn out to be of yeah. quality. All right. So what do you think of these brushes, Danny? I like them. I would use. I would use, definitely use the smallest one for miniatures, but I mean, all of these are, are really nice quality. I would use them for other, like. And did products. you get any loose, um, like hairs or anything? Did any fall out? No, no loose bristles. Dope. All right, you guys. So here is the artwork. 
that the kids and I made today. So like pretty standard toddler stuff. Of course we have what Fox has named Starry Starry Night, you know, a normal three year old thing to do there. Um, but I think that especially for like kid purposes, these paintbrushes worked out really great. Um, I will say I think that they both uh, favored the big fat one um, because obviously for little kids, you know, they want something that's going to be a little bit more of an impact and less of these more like finer ones. Um, but my husband, he actually is still out there painting with that one. It's not with me now. He really, really liked that really tiny one. It was extremely precise and way better quality than what you would find um, at like the dollar store. That's kind of what I was using as a reference to these because, you know, I think I paid like one or two dollars in shipping. So it's about the same price, you know, as something I would pick up at Dollar Tree. And the Dollar Tree ones that I find usually are like the black plastic bristles, you know. And um, I think these are just a way higher quality than those ones. And I do like that it's got the angled brush and I thought it was a nice variety. It worked really well for what we were using. Obviously I'm not like a professional artist. So like I don't know how well these would hold up in like a professional setting. But they did not lose any bristles at all. We used them multiple times today. I cleaned them all. We didn't we didn't get any shedding on the artwork. So um, I thought that was like really good. That was actually probably the biggest thing that I was worried about um, for them not being, you know, made super well. Uh, but yeah, I think these are a wish win. And if you are a professional artist, um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know like what you look for in a professional brush and like um yeah, if you've tried any from Wish, like, is this a thing? Are these, like, real professional brushes? I don't know. I'm not a person that knows that stuff. But they worked for what I needed it for. And probably 90% of you out there who need paintbrushes for small projects or with your kids, these totally work. All right, you guys. So another Wish win in the books. I hope you enjoyed this kind of art slash test today. I mean, I always love doing art with the kids, so anytime we can mix art with a Wish Wednesday, I think that's a win in itself. Um, so definitely stick around for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff, and of course Wish Wednesdays, which happen every single week. So hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!